This is John Legere for the Journal Report with a closer look at the Wall Street Journal's Technology Innovation Awards for 2007. John will have the winners after this. No day is complete without the market-leading tools of WSJ.com and the enhanced coverage of the Print Journal. Visit WSJ.com slash subscription to take advantage of our very best offer. One year of the journal in print and online for just $99. And you'll get two weeks free. This year we had more winners in the environment category than in any other category. In fact, nearly one quarter of our winners were from the environmental field. And the silver winner in the contest was an environmental entry from Aqua Sciences of Miami Beach, Florida which had devised a way to pull drinking water from the air, even in the driest parts of the world. We've been running the Innovation Awards for seven years now, and we've never had so many winners in the environmental category. I think that's a pretty good indication that companies and nonprofits are doing cutting-edge work in promoting a cleaner, greener environment. Besides Aqua Sciences, our environmental winners include three innovations that we'll focus on in this podcast a portable unit that transports, stores, and purifies water in the developing world, a washing machine that uses steam technology in the wash cycle, thereby saving both water and energy, and, get this, erasable paper whereby a printed document erases itself so that the paper can be used again and again. One of the most intriguing innovations involves a portable unit that transports, stores, and purifies water all at the same time. The idea comes from three students at the University of Glasgow in Scotland who set up a company called Red Button Design to commercialize their idea. Their aim is to provide clean water in the developing world, where thousands of people die every day from diseases related to a lack of clean water. The innovation is called the Reverse Osmosis Sanitation System, or ROS for short, and it's actually pretty straightforward. The user would push the ROS unit to a source of water and fill the tank. A series of filters would isolate the contaminants in a separate part of the tank, which overall holds 50 liters of water. That 50 liters is a key number because, according to the World Health Organization, a family of four living in a developing country needs 50 liters of water each day for drinking and bathing. So a user would be able to collect water in a single trip rather than having to make multiple trips to a source of water, which could be many miles away. Red Button has designed the unit so that even children can use it because, sad to say, it's often children in developing countries who have to go get the water for their families. Now I should note that the Ross unit is at a very early stage, but they do have orders from a number of companies. They've also won some awards in the UK. Well, that's what some grassroots entrepreneurs in Scotland are up to. Now let's check on what some big multinationals are doing in the environmental field. LG Electronics of South Korea has introduced a washing machine called the LG Steam Washer, which incorporates steam into the wash cycle. Using a built-in steam generator, the machine converts water into steam. LG says the washer uses one gallon less water per wash cycle compared to similar units that don't have steam. Oh yeah, and the company touts the performance of the washing machine, saying the steam deeply penetrates the fabrics to remove dirt and stubborn stains. There's also a 20-minute cycle for dry clothes, which uses the power of steam to reduce wrinkles and refresh clothing without the use of water or detergents. Our judges like the LG steam washer. According to